Hello my friends, it's Simon from Lake Hub. Today, coming at you from southeastern Tennessee at Lake Chickamauga. Now this is one of the many lakes in the Tennessee River Valley, and as such, it's governed by the Tennessee Valley Association. This lake does have a hydro plant on the dam and a lock so that boats and ships can move up and down the Tennessee, Tennessee River, which I think is just awesome. I love marvels of engineering. This lake is pretty big. It's about 60 miles long. It's about 36 thousand acres and over 800 miles of shoreline because it's long and skinny. Max depth is about 72 feet. This lake sits in the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains in eastern Tennessee. You're looking at about 680 feet of elevation at full pool. In the chain of lakes in the Tennessee River Valley, Lake Chickamauga sits between Watts Bar, which is upstream, and Nick Jack Lake, which is downstream. As you can see behind me, it is a wild and gorgeous lake. That water is just Tennessee beauty right there. I mean, it's just pretty. It's uh, summertime, but it's pretty mild weather and beautiful scenery. This lake is great for recreation. It's great, fantastic for fishing. Uh, a lot of bass tournaments held here. Um, a lot of the activity is gonna be on the southern end because this lake is a playground for Chattanooga, Tennessee, and nearby Cleveland, Tennessee, kind of smaller city east of Chattanooga. So that's where mo most of the activity is gonna be. There's two state parks, Harrison Bay State Park and Booker T. Washington State Park. So there is plenty of camping around this lake. There's also plenty of amenities and lots and lots of access. In fact, right now you can see I'm on a rural boat ramp. And when you see rural boat ramps and little bridges like this, county roads, then you know that there is plenty of access for a lake. There's two bigger, more notable bridges, State Highway 30 and State Highway 60 that cross the lake. The lake itself is named for the Chickamauga Cherokee people, original inhabitants, inhabitants of this area. If you know anything about the Cherokee Nation, it was kind of this massive conglomerate of lots of different tribes and different types of people. That's it for today. I'm Summer from Lake Hub, and we'll see you at the next lake.